Uh, the governing authority groups works together to essentially oversee the running of the university uh, by meeting together as a board. Uh, it's a diverse membership, both external and internal membership. And uh, during board meetings, we oversee uh, important university activities and, and ultimately decide directions for the university in diverse areas ranging from the development of strategic planning uh, to the development of capital uh, investment programs for the development of the campus. Uh, as well as the overall board meeting, we also work together in uh, dedicated subcommittees focused on really key strategic areas. So for example, one of those is finance, and I spent my term working on the finance committee, uh, overseeing and, and approving budget decisions across all the areas of the university, from education to research to capital spend. The governing authority group shapes and, and, and has an opportunity to influence uh, the university's strategy by bringing its experience to bear, um, by, by having an opportunity to, to input into the development of things like strategic plans, uh, to, to, to uh, engage with and, and ask questions of, of the university management team and, and other people involved in the development of these plans. And so there's a, an ongoing uh, dialogue and an opportunity to, to contribute and to input. And, and I guess the, the key factor there is that all the members on the, on the UDROS will have uh, different experiences, public sector, private sector experiences, that are all very valuable in helping to input into these uh, activities. It's important to, to, at the earliest stage, to familiarise uh, yourself with, uh, with how the university works. Um, normally, there's uh, quite a very good induction uh, process for new members, which takes a uh, place uh, over a period of about a week. There's, there's excellent training there and I'd really encourage people to take, take the advantage of that uh, induction process and ask as many questions as you can think of during that period and th that will make uh, the transition and the role much easier and much more enjoyable. The, the skills that are important in, in some ways reflect our experience. Uh, frontline work for example with students, uh, frontline work on the support services, uh, these are important perspectives to bring to bear and, and to, to feed into the university's planning process and decision making. Uh, more generally, I think it's, uh, it's, it's useful to, to, to engage with material at meetings. So, so uh, people who are comfortable uh, maybe communicating and, and, and comfortable engaging with, with diverse types of, um, uh, of materials and diverse uh, areas of university life Will, will, I think, uh, enjoy the Udoros experience very much. I, I would encourage internal colleagues, staff members to put themselves forward uh, for the Udoros because I, I think they'll find it to be uh, tremendously um, beneficial in the long term. Uh, you, you get to meet and engage with some excellent people from diverse backgrounds. Um, there's, a, there's a great learning experience about how the university works and, and how uh, financial decisions and strategic decisions how they are formed and how they come to bear. So I think that even though that quite apart from the, the sort of very fulfilling role of, of working in the Udoros, I think it is of broad benefit and, and would benefit internal people uh, very much in their overall career development. So I'd really encourage everyone to, to have a go at it and uh, to bring their experience to bear.